Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to add Apple Sign-in to our Flutter apps using Firebase Authentication. Apple Sign-in is a new authentication method that is available on iOS 13 and above. It is very convenient as your iOS users already have an Apple ID and can use it to sign in with your app. So just as you would offer Google Sign-in on Android, it makes sense to offer Apple Sign-in on iOS. So in this tutorial, we will use the Apple Signing Flutter plugin that is available on pub.dev. And by the way, this plugin supports iOS only, and you can only use this on devices running iOS 13 and above. In fact, I should mention that there are some prerequisites that you need to have in order to complete this tutorial. First of all, you need to be running on macOS and have Xcode 11 installed. And you need to be registered for an Apple developer account and you need to run on a device or simulator running iOS 13 or above and be signed in with an Apple ID. So provided that you have all these things already in place, you can follow along and add Apple signing to your Flutter app on iOS. By the way, you can find step-by-step -step instructions for this tutorial on my website at this page. So you can add this tutorial to your bookmarks as you would use it as a reference for implementing Apple sign-in. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe for more Flutter videos. All right, so let's get started. And in order to implement Apple Sign-in, there are two main things that we need to do. The first one is the Firebase and Xcode project setup, which I will cover in detail. And the second one is to add the actual code for enabling the Apple Sign-in flow in your app. So I will cover step one in detail. And since I already prepared a demo app in advance, step two will be more of a walkthrough. And you can find a link to the full source code in the description below this video. All right, so let's get started. And after creating a new Flutter project, you want to open your pubspec.yaml file. And here you can add these three dependencies, Firebase Alt version 0.15.3, and then the Apple signing plugin. And we will also use provider for dependency injection. Next, we need to add Firebase to our Flutter app. So you can head over to the Firebase console. And if you want, you can add a new project and you can do this by following these steps. But if you have an existing project instead, you can just select it and configure it. And the first thing that you need to do is to add an iOS app. And you can do that by opening the project settings. And here I have already done this. But if you haven't, you can press on this button and follow these steps to add an iOS app. And the most important thing here is that you register the correct iOS bundle ID. And you can find this by opening your iOS project in Xcode and in project settings, you can copy this bundle ID from here and then you can paste it down here. And since I've already done this, I can skip this step. But in any case, at the end of this process, you'll have an iOS app showing over here and you can download the Google service info.plist file and make sure to add it to your Xcode project like I've done over here. And after this, there is one very important step that you need to do. So if you select the project, you can open this tab called signing and capabilities. And here you want to press this button and then you want to add sign in with Apple as a new capability so that it shows over here. And then you need to select a development team over here. And doing this will generate and configure an app ID with the correct capabilities in your Apple developer portal. So make sure that you do this, otherwise your app won't work. And as a last step, we need to enable Apple signing in Firebase. So we can get back to our console and go to authentication and then signing method. And then here we can select Apple and we want to make sure that this toggle is enabled. And we can skip the rest and hit save. So this completes the setup for Apple sign-in and we can dive into the code. And as I said before, the rest of this tutorial will be a walkthrough of the demo app that I've built, which is just a minimal implementation of Apple sign-in. So this is what it looks like with just one screen and this button. And if we press it, we get an introduction screen and we can continue and get this pop-up that we can use to sign in either with a password or touch ID or face ID if it's enabled on your device. Okay, so let's see how this is implemented. And in this project, I have four files and I can start from the main.dart. And the first thing that we do is to check if Apple signing is available on the main method. 
And to do this, I've implemented this simple Apple sign in available class, which just contains a Boolean value. And it also has a static method that uses the Apple sign in dot is available API from the Apple sign in package. So here we call this method and we await for the Boolean result. And then we save this into an instance of this class. And the reason we do this is that in the main file, we can get this value asynchronously, and then we can create a provider of Apple sign in available. And this way we can make this value available synchronously to all the widgets in our app. So the reason I created this class is that it carries more meaning than just a Boolean value, especially since it's exposed by a provider. And by the way, the Apple signing APIs use platform channels under the hood. So we need to make sure that the Flutter widget binding is initialized if we want to call this method before we run the app. Okay, so this completes the availability check. Next, I want to show you how the UI is built. So here I have my signing page and in the build method, I return a scaffold with a simple layout. And the interesting thing here is this Apple signing button that is a widget that comes from the Apple signing package. And this has a couple of styling properties and an unpressed callback. And the important thing is that we only show this if Apple signing is available. So this is done by getting this value with provider dot of, and here we are using a collection if to only return the button if this condition is true. And when the button is pressed, then we call this method, which uses our authentication service to sign in with Apple. And here I have created this old service class with this signing with Apple method that looks a little bit scary, but don't worry, we'll go through it. So the most important thing in this method is this line, which performs the actual authentication with Apple and awaits for the result. And when we do this, we can pass in some scopes, which define the kinds of information that we want to get from the user. So the only two scopes that we can request are the email and the full name. So calling this method is what causes the signing model to appear like this. And after we get the result, we can parse the status with a switch statement that has three possible cases, authorized, error, and canceled. So if the request was authorized, we can create an OAuth provider credential with the identity token and the authorization code that we received. And then we can pass this to Firebase auth.signing with credential and get an auth result that we can use to extract the Firebase user. So this is what binds the Apple credentials with a user account that we can use with Firebase. And if we requested the full name, then we can update the profile information of the Firebase user with the full name from the Apple credential. And as a last step, we can return the Firebase user. Instead, if the authentication failed or was canceled by the user, we throw a platform exception that can be handled at the calling site. So this is all you need to authenticate with Apple. Finally, we need to glue things together. So to do that, in the main.dart, I've added a provider of auth service above the material app. And as a result, when I want to sign in, I get the authentication service like this, and I can attempt to sign in with Apple. And if the call succeeds, then we can print the result. Or if it throws an error, we can catch it and react accordingly. Okay, so this completes our tutorial. And the next logical step would be to move away from the signing page and show the home page instead when signing is successful. This can be done by adding a widget above the signing page to decide which page to show depending on the on auth state change stream of Firebase auth. So you can check out some of my other tutorials for how to do this. And you can test out the entire flow by downloading the source code from GitHub and make sure to also complete all the configuration steps that I've included in this page. So once again, you can use this as a reference. And by the way, I want to say that I've also updated my reference authentication demo to include Apple signing. And this also shows how to implement various other authentication methods. 
Finally, I cover Firebase authentication in great detail in my Flutter and Firebase course on Udemy, and you can get this with a discounted price if you use this link on my website. Okay, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.